Hello friends, welcome you all to my YouTube channel, myself Piyus Kumar Verma and today in this video I am going to talk about Environmental Current Affairs Part 3 So, the first question in this series is What was the theme of World Earth Day? That was the 15th anniversary, celebrated on 22nd April 2020 So, answer is Climate Action so let us know about the Earth Day history. Earth Day has been celebrated every April 22nd since 1970. The main aim of Earth Day is to raise awareness on the negative impact our actions as mankind have on our environment and Earth as a whole and is a day for political action and civic participation. So the moving on to the next question and uh, which organization has recently announced observing aerosol optical depth AOD pattern by MODIS moderate resolution imaging spectro radiometer model that air pollution in India has reached 20 years low that was a very good news so this report uh, was released by National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA United States of America so the note point is here that aerosol optical depth so what is AOD so AOD is the quantitative measure of aerosol present in the atmosphere it is uh, we can say it measures the extinction of light when it passes the atmosphere as AOD increases the rate of extinction of light increases so now moving to the next question question number third the Indian haptologists discovered new species of viper family in Paki Tiger Reser Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. What is the name of this species? Answer is Salager Slytherin. So note point here is that Paki Tiger Reserve is the tiger reserve which is bounded by Kamang River in the west and north and by Pocky River in the east it is located in Arunachal Pradesh so now the last question question of four is of this series according to new EIA amendment made by Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change MOFCC on 15th April 2020 which type of industry has shifted from category A to category B B2. So, answer is Ministry of Environment has recognized all the bulk drugs manufacturer under category A to category B2. So, note point here is that the project are that are falling under category A require mandatory EIA. On the other hand, the projects under category B2 are exempted from EIA. The recategorization will First in the process, the recategorization has been done to decentralize the proposals to state level. The states have been provided with guidelines to process the proposals before authorizing them. So, thanks for watching.